Ram Power Days are here. Save up to $10,000 off the MSRP on a new Ram 1500 quad cab 4x4. Now just $28,995. Get more power at Burdick Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Drivers Village. Central New York's future could well pivot around this spot. Where more than a decade ago, a demolition crew erased a long-standing eyesore to make way for the Centers for Excellence. That part of the community is going to look dramatically different over the, over the coming years. Uh, it has the potential to be a real true sort of innovation hub. Uh, when you think about the types of things that are being done there and the proposed development uh, that's, that's going to take place there over the coming years. Right next to the Centers for Excellence, Upstate Hospital's Biotechnology Research Center is now going up. That center would get nearly $2 million in state funding if this new plan proves to be a winner. Right next door, Kennedy Square, another long-standing eyesore, would get $3.6 million to help it become a bioscience park. And just a few city blocks away, St. Joseph's Hospital would get another $2.5 million as it grows and modernizes. These are some of the urban core investments coming out of this much bigger project. This plan builds off our assets. It's honest about who we are. Uh, it's very clear about where we want to go and how we want to move this economy forward. Uh, I think that the, the level of detail um, and the strategies and the tactics in this plan are ones that are within our reach. Rob Simpson and Syracuse University Chancellor Nancy Cantor were appointed by the governor to chair this regional economic development council. A five county central New York region is competing with other areas of the state for a state incentive worth tens of millions. I think it's a, I think it's a winning proposal. Um, we've, uh, we've demonstrated an ability to turn uh, $40 million of, of prospective state investment into over a billion, $1.1 billion of, in, of investment right here in central New York. Simpson says the plan looks at the region as a whole, business, education, government, and community. Some existing entities will get a boost, and some untapped assets like Syracuse's Inner Harbor will get a shot in the arm. And we can line those resources up against the strategy for a long and sustained period of time. Then I believe we can make a difference. Then I believe we can fundamentally change the economy.